today I'm in Yosu, which is famous for its beaches. The numerous islands that surround it. And the song. Yosu has 317 islands. 49 of them are inhabited and The rest are uninhabited. Dosando is Yosu's largest island and can be accessed by bridge or cable car. Behind me is the love heart touch zone. When a couple hold hands and touch their respective touch zones, the love heart lights up solely through the power of love. Amazingly, I was able to generate enough love juice by myself to single-handedly power the heart and probably spawn a baby in the process. The next morning I took a stroll along the breakwater to Adongdo Island. I've heard there's a peanuts tree on this island, so we're just off to see it. I'm very excited. Uh, my hands are shaking. Let's go and check it out. This is the penis tree. I'm a bit disappointed, to be honest. The head is a bit out of proportion to the rest of the, the shaft. I don't know many people's penises. Penises that I've analyzed just definitely don't look like this. Don't know how long people stand and look at it for, but it's one of the attractions. It's very thought provoking. This is the Turtle Ship, a ship built by Admiral Eason Shin in 1591. This effortless mentioning of key dates may seem like witchcraft, but I just read the sign. This magician reveals his secrets. And it was with this ship that Admiral Eason Shin managed to repel the Japanese invasion against all odds. I'm not sure why the turtle ship itself was effective. Maybe the Japanese had a, a strange phobia of turtles. And as soon as they saw the turtle ship, they just abandoned their ships and fled. There are some turtles that are pretty vicious. They do nip. <laughs> because if you look at it from a bird's eye view, it kind of looks like a soft shell turtle. The turtle one is on the left. There's nobody here at the moment. It's completely deserted. You can just hear the sounds of the waves and my voice, which is probably annoying for all the wildlife around here. I'm at the top of Meerbong and the view here is absolutely beautiful. about this island is that whenever you go into a shop, usually the owner of the shop isn't present. So uh, we're trying to buy these drinks here, Bakari Sweat and this peach drink, but there's no one here to buy it from. So we're just waiting around until they turn up. It's an enormous level of trust that's on this island. Probably because there's only a thousand people that live here. Later that night, the owner of this restaurant also suddenly popped out to go to a church service for an hour, leaving only us in the restaurant. Squid on a stick. Kind of like a rubbery ice cream. So let's uh, have a try. Morning, 
The following morning, I headed back to Dolsan Island to visit Hyangiram, a turtle-themed Buddhist temple. Just down over there is Hyangiram. Now let me just tell you something I learned from a plaque over there. Hyangiram housed a bunch of warrior monks that helped Admiral Isun Shin repel the Japanese invasion in the 15th century or the 16th century. I can't remember which one, but it's on the plaque. what the significance of this narrow rock is. Maybe it's a bit like the health gate that we saw in Socho a while ago. The final place in the itinerary was Artland. Or is it Artland? Whereas art museums in Paris frown at you for making eye contact with the Mona Lisa or sniffing Van Gogh's self-portrait, Artland actively encourages you to walk all over its booty. I also had time to answer a question from the comments section. Yosu. This is a swing for adults. It's like having a robotic father who's just pushing me and pushing me. As my shouts of higher, higher reached their crescendo, it was time to get off and give someone else a turn. This takes Trick Eye to a whole new level. AR. With the holy combination of AR and some top quality acting, you can look like you're in a fish tank. being attacked by a monkey, or exploiting nature to serve your own needs. Well, I've really enjoyed my time here in Yosu, and I'd love to come back here and visit the other 317 islands, I think there are. And uh, yeah, I think I should probably get down from this mountain now. Bye-bye.